Yeah, it, it's amazing. The the top of the Big Ten, I came in this season thinking that there weren't going to be all that many good teams in the league, right? I was thinking this this was going to be the year where the Big Ten kind of came back to earth. But now we're seeing Iowa look great, Robbie. We're seeing Michigan State play really, really well. We know Illinois just beat up on, on UCLA. Indiana went on the road and beat Xavier and has looked really good so far this season. It feels like it's going to be another year where we're just like, yeah, the Big Ten's loaded again. Everybody at the top's really good. Yeah, I think it is. And I think that this is going to be a season where right now there, I would say there's five, five or six teams that could win the league. I, and I really think that I think Iowa is right there. I think Purdue, you have to talk about um, Michigan state, Illinois, Indiana. Um, the, the league has performed, I would say above expectations so far in the non-conference. I think it's had a really good non-conference stretch here. And there's still a lot to be, to be decided in that as these uh, Thanksgiving events kind of move forward and we get through Christmas. But I would say it's been about as good of a start for the league as it, it could have been. Where do you see Iowa kind of stacking up in here? Goodman is I, is. I think they're a top four record. team in the league. I, I think that they are the versatility thing we've talked about all night. They can mix and match the way they play. They've got really good guard play with Tony Perkins, Aaron Uless, and you can throw Connor McCaffrey if you really want to and to bring the ball up. He's also shooting it better. I like Patrick McCaffrey. I haven't even talked about their best player, Chris Murray. He, he was dominant the other night at Seton Hall. I think Rebracha has come a long way and is is playing with a different confidence and swagger this season. Um, and I like the way they play. They play fast. They'll they'll turn you over. They don't turn it over. Um, they, they'll have to rebound. They will have to rebound. That's going to be the one thing this year where if they don't do that, um, from losing Keegan Murray, they're going to be smaller a lot of a lot of nights. But they, I like their talent. They they just have a lot of good players when you look at their roster. It's incredible to me that you can lose Luca Garza and and not fall off at all, and then you lose Keegan Murray, and it doesn't look like they've they've fallen off at all. Like how do you how and and Bohannon? He, I mean and Bohannon. Like he was Brother, a big part I think of what they've done. Th- this Rob like when with Fran because he runs motion like paint doesn't run it as much Robbie as when you guys were there and played there it can you can kind of get anybody you know if your big's your best player or or if you got Joe Wieskamp or Jordan Bohannon or whoever it might be um because you're you know the, the offense is flowing and, and everybody's moving and everybody's touching the ball and, and guys kind of guys know who the best player is it's different than running sets and, and and the other team being able to sit on all your sets and and blow them up and now you gotta you know now you gotta go somewhere else. I think that the, just the style of play in the offense, you know, that helps because you look at Chris Murray like I know everybody was saying he could have he could start and be what he what he's jumped hit, but I I didn't I mean we knew Keegan. But it's like, man, and I know Kenyon well. Kenyon's my guy. He grew up in Battle Creek, Michigan. I'm from Albion, Michigan. It's like 30 minutes away. I watched I watched Kenyon, their dad, play when I was in middle school and they were in high school. So I'm like, I saw the boys when they were this big. And I'm thinking, he got two of them, and they're both pros. <laughs> when did you when did you realize they were gonna be this? Like did you when they were 14, 15, 16, did you have any idea what they so could have? I was at Iowa 20, 2007 to 2010. So I, I don't know how old that makes the boys and they're coming to camp and stuff, right? Uh, but I don't know that you would have projected this at that point in time, you know, probably right. after I left. 